Okay, welcome back ladies and gents, Guess Gex back again, doing some more Metro 2033, and we're about to do one of my favourite levels in the game, which is a sort of stealth based bit. Our good buddy um, has just been kidnapped, and we need to get him back. Now this is... Sorry, this is, um, as I say, rather a tricky bit of the game. We just have to be a bit cautious that we don't get busted. Um, we really need to basically get down here and very quickly turn all the sort of lights and stuff off because we need to, we need to kind of stealth kill these lot. It doesn't do us any favours if we get caught, and there are a lot of them about. Christ, I've picked the worst time to jump down here. There we go. So I say bit by bit we can turn the lights off and obviously that helps us sneak about. Um, the light bar on the controller is actually quite helpful at this time. Ooh. That noise when it goes means that somebody is about to spot us. So we have to be pretty swift when it comes to that. And I'm completely on the wrong gun. Here we go. I'm just doing all these lights up here as well. Even though I don't think there's actually anybody up this far. There we go. It's just to be on the safe side. Because I'll, I'll tell you now. It is going to kick off before too long. Because it always does. But um, I'm just I'm not very good at this. But anyway as you'll see. We'll get some of them done. Yeah, we will, we will manage to, to get rid of some of them without getting busted, but it won't take long, as you'll see. Okay. It's just... way... It's just that they have very random movement cycles, some of them. And it can be quite hard to judge where they're going to go. And sometimes they hear you, even when you're using a suppressed weapon, and sometimes they don't, so you just have to be... There we go. Particularly, sorry, there we go. Particularly when you haven't got a crosshair to go by. There's another one out here and just to the right, as you'll see. He's usually got his back to us, there we go. We just have to be a bit cautious about down there. Oh, sodding. There we go. It is really hard to judge that, to judge where the knives are going. But, uh. There we go. Whew. Right, two down, about a million to go. And of course, you can't move any of the corpses. Oh, that's awesome. My Wi Fi's just dropped out, that's awesome. God knows why. It's been. Uh, I tell you, my Wi Fi's been absolutely an arse lately. I don't know what's going on with it, but anyway. Anyway. Shouldn't matter, we're moving anyway. Still got fibre optic. Right, yeah. I'm just trying to think what is best here. Their line of sight is pretty poor if you get any distance between them. But it's this sort of thing that like they're. Oh, there's obviously a better way of doing this, but you have to be really cautious here because they do bust you. As I say, it won't be long before we do get clocked. There we go. There we go. Busted already. There we go. You, you see him down the far end with his uh, 
with these laser sights. However, this, this shouldn't be too difficult because we're on ranger mode. They don't take many shots to put down, so we can sort of hide and then just pop them when they, when they turn up. What's interesting is that, as I say, there's no ammo count at all. Okay, he's pretty close. <laughs> Now, I don't know if you noticed that, but um, somebody else actually killed him then. He actually got a bolt in the back of the head, and it was nothing to do with me. And that is sort of explained in a bit. But yeah, there are st still more about. We're not, we're not out of the woods yet, not by a long way. And this is so different when you've got the sound on really low. Please ignore the whole Wi-Fi crap at the moment, it's just being big a bell. Now this I wish they wouldn't have an actual film clip, because you go in and then you sometimes actually get lumped right in front of it, you have to be really cautious. These lot now don't know that it's all kicking off, I don't think. Having said that... <laughs> As I say, you just have to just have to take this bit a little bit slow. Now he's actually got some a suppressed. Oh my God! There's two more over there. He's got like a suppressed SMG, but we're going to leave that at the moment. I am going to pop these dudes because they might have sh uh, bullets, useful bullets on them. He's got a pipe bomb. Okay, there is, yeah, as you can clearly see, there's a dude just there. What's awesome there is I just wasted a load of bullets on a dude that was actually already dead. He was already pinned to the wall. Wait for it. Wait for it. And although it sounds like my shotgun is suppressed, it's actually not. <laughs> Way okay, yeah. This this isn't. Oh god. Nice. He's just been, as you saw, somebody fragged him. Some mysterious savior. He is like the mysterious stranger from Fallout, but it is explained again. Who is doing that in a minute? Nice. There he goes. Now this dude is sort of taking cover because he realises that there's other people. Yeah, as you can see, he's just got a dart in the back. I hadn't realised the guy that is actually helping me. I'm not going to say who it is yet. But um, he actually does a lot more than I was expecting. Nope. I thought he only occasionally did sort of... A little, a little bit to help, but ow! But um, no, he's apparently he's apparently here to here to help a lot. Really? Okay, we can't have the incendiary apparently, which is a shame. Doesn't matter. We can use an incendiary and then come back and get it. There we go. Grab some more revolver ammo. 
Now normally you can't just walk up the middle of here, obviously, but um He's very tempting to take that suppressed SMG, but I don't know, no, I'm not, I'm not going to leave it, I'm going to leave it. I do wish some of these had more, had more, um, you know, like golden cartridge things, but, um, but no. Yeah, we're getting a lot of help from, um, our buddy, our good buddy, from the shadows. The thing is, they've got to come in through this entrance, so there's a limit to how much damage they can actually do. And we're going to try, as I say, we're going to try, try to be a little bit tactical here, but I can't, I can't see it working, but... See, that's annoying. That's annoying. Way. See, this is the thing. When they're actually alert to you, it seems that your, your bullets do a lot less damage, but I don't know. This is what I like about Ranger mode, it is so much more tactical. Another one down. There's normally some up on the railings, but and there's usually also a marksman at the far end. However, I think our buddy in the shadows might have dealt with him. Yeah, we've got, some, we've got some rounds there, some actual useful rounds. Okay. Still being really cautious because I'm still not convinced that they're all dead. It only it literally only takes one. If there's one behind you that you don't notice and you sneak out and he's got a shotgun, you're, you're done, you know. And if we die now, it's a long way to go back. See, these sort of things you have to be careful about as well. Now that's interesting, again, you know, it's like, what, what, is, what is he doing in there? Yeah, be careful here, because you can fall down there, and we will later, because we want the med pack. However, you just have to be a little bit cautious, because it is radio radioactive down there, so just can't spend too long down there. There we go. Okay, I don't remember this bit. Oh! Ah, now we saw that. <gasps> Careful. There is another dude. At least one more dude. Okay, he might not have actually been a bad guy. Oh well. Oh! What the hell? Christ almighty. Kelly, that made me shit myself. What is going on here? I've never seen this before. This is completely new. What is going on here? What the hell? What was that? I have no idea what that was. Archie, I'm having a proper wobbly there. 
that was really weird. That that kind of freaked me out. That did a lot. I didn't like that. That was that was really weird. Okay, it's probably not not a lot we can take from these because we're probably pretty much full ammo. Although that we should be able to take. I'm sure we could carry six before. I don't know. Anyway. No. The only thing we would be able to take now would be um, uh, buh, 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 gold, uh, golden bullets stuff. Pick it up. Oh, there's stuff over there. Oh. Hang on. Hang on a minute. See, there's an AK down there. I had a feeling we could take more than we could have more than two weapons. Get the frig down there! What the hell? Hang on. Oh, you bell! No, get off! Oh! No, we're not leaving that. Okay, I thought we could take more than two weapons. Maybe not. Okay. And we go through here. And this is essentially the end of the level. Предполагаю, что нам лучше немедленно покинуть это богом проклятое место. Коллеги этого несчастного сейчас появятся тут, а я предпочел бы избежать нового кровопролития. Сухарюской. Возновато для моих старых костей. Если читаешь разделить судьбу своего товарища, Разумеется, можешь остаться. And there we go, that's the end of that level. And I know this has been a rather short episode, but we got quite a lot of action in it, so I'm going to leave it there. Хотя и чувствовал, что кто-то помогает мне из тени, когда я сражался с бандитами. Хан сказал мне, что я не виновен в гибели Бурбона, но мне все равно было жаль. Моего первого напарника. Yes, so sorry that's only been about 20 minutes, but I say we are going to leave it there just for the moment because uh, I've got a few things I need to do. And you've had your fill of fun and excitement and bloodshed, so um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. And in the next part, we'll get a longer part next time, I promise. Giggle, giggle. And um, yeah, we shall see what's waiting for us with our new companion. So uh, see you again soon. <laughs>